All right. What up, what up, y'all? It's your man, Sam Ant. Here at Viral Hip Hop News, starting to like going and showing my face on the screen a little bit more. I think we're going to start doing this a little bit more. Me talking about some topics and things that I want to talk about and getting in your face. You know what I'm saying? You guys seeing in my face. I love getting on the microphone and kind of doing the radio thing. But at the same time, I think it's also important I get on here. You guys can kind of see and feel my vibe as well. So I definitely appreciate y'all who came in the building today. Seeing this article come out a couple days ago, I wanted to give it a little bit of time. Let it marinate a little bit. Watch a couple platforms and check out social media and check the temperature of this situation before I went ahead and talked about it. Because I had some initial thoughts on how this would go. Had some initial thoughts on how the media would cover this story. How black Twitter in particular would feed into this story and how it would further push this story. And uh, yeah, I got exactly what I was looking for. Now I'm going to go ahead and talk about it. So if you did not see, I'll go ahead and put it up for you guys as well. Yikes. Former Abercrombie CEO is charged with running a sex trafficking ring. Now, Michael S. Jeffries, the former longtime chief executive of Abercrombie & Fitch, was indicted on Tuesday on charges of running an international sex trafficking scheme during several years of his tenure at the company. Now, federal prosecutors in Brooklyn accused Mr. Jeffries, who ran the clothing retailer from 92 to 2014, of using force, fraud, and coercion to lure dozens of men to events around the world where they were sexually exploited by Mr. Jeffries and his romantic partner. Now, the indictment, which includes accusations from 15 people who said they had been coerced into sex acts, echoes allegations, first unearthed last year by BBC investigation and a class action lawsuit accusing Mr. Jeffries of using the prospects of modeling jobs at Abercrombie to exploit and abuse them. Now, Michael Jeffries and his partner, Matthew Smith, 80 and 61, were arrested in Florida on Tuesday morning, says John Maruzzi, a spokesperson for the U.S. Attorney's Office for the Eastern District of New York. A third person, James Jacobson, 71, was also arrested on Tuesday in Wisconsin and indicted. Jeffries Jacobson were released on bond on Tuesday afternoon while Mr. Smith, who has dual citizenship in the United States and United Kingdom, was ordered, detained, Mr. Maruzzi said. Now, from 2008 to 2015, Jeffrey Smith employed Jacobson to act as a recruiter. According to the indictment, Jacobson paid men to engage in sex acts with him. He would then choose the ones who would travel to events in NYC, the Hamptons, and elsewhere across the globe to purpose of engaging in commercial sex officers. Oh, excuse me, prosecutors say. Now, Jeffries was using his power, his wealth, his influence to traffic men for his own sexual pleasure and that his romantic partner, God, is another name. Oh, and his romantic partner, excuse me. Brian S. Peace, the U.S. attorney for the Eastern District of New York, said at a news conference announcing the indictment. The former executives and his co-conspirators convinced aspiring male models that attending their secret secretive events, which were operated by staff bonded by non-disclosure agreements, could lead to modeling opportunities. According to the indictment, the men said Jeffries threatened them, warning that failure to comply with requests for certain acts during this event could harm their careers, prospects and prosecutors. <laughs> My bad. Could harm their career prospects, prosecutors said. An Amber Conby spokesperson declined to comment on Jeffrey's arrest. The men were presumed in, uh, were pressured, excuse me, to consume alcohol, Viagra, and muscle relaxants. Oh my God. During the events, and they were forced to engage in sex acts without their consent. According to the indictment, the victims, at least one of whom was as young as 19, were also not able to leave the events without Jeffrey Smith's approval prosecutor said now this goes on and on um i'll read this last paragraph before i go ahead and go in on what i want to say no if convicted of sex trafficking charges the three defendants could face at least 15 years in prison and a maximum sentence of life imprisonment a conviction on the interstate prosecuted charges could result in a maximum of 20 years in prison now like anybody else we should assume that he should be presumed innocent until proven guilty. The accusations are absolutely disgusting. I'm not going to lie. When you look at dude's face, kind of fits a description of somebody would, that would do some nasty shit like this, even though that doesn't have a face or a name or a smell. Nasty motherfuckers are who they are. 
But they let this man out. International sex trafficking is what he's being charged for. Those are some scary words. We've heard these words before. We've heard these words previously. Yet dude is allowed out to walk freely. To go ahead and fight his case and fight his, go to trial, whatever's going to happen in the confines of his own home. But certain other people aren't given those. What's the word I'm looking for? Given those advantages. You know what I mean? Given those, given that 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 type of circumstance, they're not allowed to do that. Now, I don't expect black people to give a damn about this dude. I don't expect black people to give a damn about this dude. So I don't expect a lot of blogs and things to pick this up because if we speak about this, it's not going to gain a lot of traction. It's not going to gain a lot of steam. It's not going to gain a lot of views because people don't give a damn about this. People know Diddy. They know him from Bad Boy. He's this over-the-top guy that comes out and very flamboyant. He's in the public eye way more. So obviously stories about him will be more popular because we know him more. But even though I call bullshit on that a little bit too, I do. I do. Because we can get the same energy to them because it's us that feed into this shit and help gaslight these situations. And I'm not saying put Diddy in the situation he is now because we don't know if he's innocent or guilty yet. He could have very well put him fucking self in that situation. What I'm saying is, does it not seem like it's a little unbalanced? When you look at our blogs, and these are the same, this, this dropped two days ago. Two days ago. Diddy shit dropped last year. Within these same two days, these how many reports, and this is approximately, this is what I've grabbed so far. Old footage of Diddy inviting child actress to an after party surfaces on social media. Jamie Foxx addresses whether Diddy was responsible for his 2023 hospitalization comedy show attendance. You kidding me? Shine claims he was set up the fall guy in Diddy nightclub shooting. Say what? Lawsuit claims Diddy lays baby oil on lemon drops with date raping drugs to assault victims. Pro athletes stop Diddy from continuing to sexually assault men at Ciroc Vodka Party. And I actually seen one today of that gentleman that passed away in, um, I think it was Costa Rica or Colombia somewhere. Condolences to his family. I believe he jumped off a roof. They said it was cocaine in his system. We seen Lamar Odom come out and say it may have been pink cocaine. It's something that he took. It causes hallucinations. I personally never even fucking heard of pink cocaine until Lamar Odom said it a couple days ago. Well, not his reports that Diddy, in fact, had cocaine, pink cocaine at his party, and he's connected to young boy passing away, unfortunately, out in Colombia. And see, this is where I come off looking crazy because it may seem like I'm trying to fight for Diddy or cat for Diddy, whatever the case. I don't give a fuck about Diddy. But I do care about what's real and what's not. I do care about when it looks like somebody's being railroaded. I do care about when it does look like you got this man, this black man in particular, who had po who had power. He ain't got shit no more. Who had power. And for whatever reason, a lot of his dirty secrets are beginning to be aired now, whether they're true or not. Can't even receive the same due justice as other people who are accused of the same crimes as he is. Well, because he had a thousand bottles worth of baby oil, he's now a flight risk and he can't get out of jail. I almost promise you that Abercrombie and Fish dude got way more money. His money is way longer than Diddy. And they let that dude out on the same day he was convicted. The same day he was put in cuffs, he walked out. Yet Diddy sits in New York City right now. Oh, because he beat Cassie up. And I'm not condoning domestic violence. I'm not. I have a wife. I have a daughter. I have a mother. I have aunts. And they all know. I don't play that. They know that. I almost, almost had to go there a few times on a couple of my family members' boyfriends. Because they acted out of pocket. And almost found myself in situations defending that situation. Even another story for another day. But I think that it's real funny how because we've seen that one video and now we hear all these rumors that it's so gaslit that this dude did it. Do you guys not see that they're trying to destroy this man's character? And all I ask and all I ask y'all to do is really ask yourself why. How come it's OK for him to get out after one day, but not him? Leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think of the situation. Sam Man, CEO of the Brand Vile Hip Hop News. I love each and every one of y'all. Hail to the commanders. We doing our thing right now. 
Follow me on Instagram, Sam I am Viral. If you want to see all things that I got going on outside of the computer, outside of the Viral Hip Hop News brand, I got some things popping off I would love to share with you guys. So go check me out, Sam I am Viral. You can check that out on Instagram right now. Leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think. As always, whether you agree or disagree, I appreciate the engagement. I appreciate the love, and I appreciate y'all rocking with the brand. So until next time, until next story, Sam, man, Viral Hip Hop News. I love each and every one of y'all. Love yourselves, and I'm out of here, man.